In this video, we will discuss about the carcinomas of the vulva and as this is not a major topic, so we will discuss only briefly. Remember that most of the carcinomas of the vulva are squamous cell carcinoma and based upon the pathogenesis and histology, we categorize these carcinomas of vulva into two types. One is HPV positive squamous cell carcinoma that is caused after the infection by human papilloma virus and the second is HPV negative squamous cell carcinoma. So let's, let us discuss this in detail. The first is HPV positive squamous cell carcinoma. Remember that this HPV positive squamous cell carcinoma is caused by high risk HPV strains that are HPV 16 and 18. Remember that in the previous video we discussed that human papilloma virus 6 and 11 are low risk and they result in condyloma acuminatus. But here these 16 and 18 variants are high risk and they can cause squamous cell carcinomas. So whenever a high risk HPV strain infects the area of vulva, it can sometimes lead to the transformation of vulvar intraepithelial neoplasia. Remember this important precursor lien, vulvar intraepithelial neoplasia also abbreviated as VIN. Intraepithelial neoplasia means that the tissue itself is non-neoplastic, but the tissue contains some cells that are malignant in their cytology. We call this as intraepithelial neoplasia. And as this condition further progresses, it results in carcinoma in C2 and carcinoma in C2 further progresses into the invasive carcinoma which the tissue shows characteristic of cancer which means that the, some of the cells start invading the basement membrane and try to form a separate mass or separate group of cells. So this is the timeline of HPV positive squamous cell carcinoma. It starts from infection caused by HPV 16 and 18 which can transform into vulvar intraepithelial neoplasia which can transform further into carcinoma in C2 and ultimately into the invasive carcinoma. And remember that smoking and immunodeficiency result in faster progression. So smoking and immunodeficiency are two things that can result in faster progression from the infection caused by human papilloma virus high risk strains to the invasive carcinoma. So remember these two points. And this human papilloma virus positive squamous cell carcinoma usually occur in relatively younger women. Now let's compare this to the HPV negative squamous cell carcinoma that are caused by long history of reactive epithelial changes in the skin of the vulva. Remember that it is not caused by HPV infection. So there is a long history of reactive epithelial changes that result in a precursor lien that is known as differentiated vulvar intraepithelial neoplasia DVIN. So compare this with a precursor lien of human papilloma virus positive cancers that is vulvar intraepithelial neoplasia. But in contrast, the precursor lions of HPV negative squamous cell carcinoma are relatively differentiated. So we call as differentiated vulvar intraepithelial neoplasia and this ultimately transforms into the invasive carcinoma. And remember that as compared to the human papilloma virus positive cancers, these HPV negative cancers occur in relatively older women. So these are the few points for the differentiation. And as far as the morphology is concerned, remember that HPV positive tumors are multifocal and warty. So you can imagine that whenever an infection happens in the area, it can cause multiple lesions in that affected area. So HPV positive tumors are multifocal and warty and HPV negative tumors are unifocal. Secondly, HPV positive tumors are poorly differentiated squamous cell carcinomas while HPV negative cancers are well differentiated squamous cell carcinomas. So they usually retain the characteristic of squamous cells while in HPV positive tumors the tumors are aggressive and the biological behavior of the tumor is also aggressive. So they don't appear well differentiated rather they appear poorly differentiated. Remember these two important points of the morphology. HPV positive tumors are multifocal and warty and they are poorly differentiated on their histological imaging. So this is the brief discussion about the cancers of the vulva.